is Mr. Taylor, Season 7, Episode 2 of Taylor Talk. And I've got all kinds of neat information for you today. So wanted to spend a few minutes. We're in front of our I Am Hall. These are the things that our kids are. I Am, if you look across here as we're talking, there's all kinds of wonderful, uplifting words that our kids are. They get to see that every morning as they come up and down the stairs. So we want to show it to you real quick. Uh, our I Am Wall. A couple things for you. We are going to be making some changes in our car rider uh, lines. I know that probably is exciting to you. We've been working really hard with the Department of Transportation here uh, and our company to make some changes in our back area so that we can move more vehicles quicker. And so what we're going to be doing is starting uh, little by little. We're not going to try to do it all at one time. So we're going to begin on this Monday, which will be February 1st, with our AM car drop-off. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to have you come in the same way you do already. But when you come around the corner and fill up these four lines in the back, we're going to be departing two lanes at a time now instead of one lane like we've always done. So it should go twice as fast. Here's what we need you to do. We need you to make sure that you keep our four lanes full at all times. So when you come in, we want to make sure that we stay in our lanes and that we fill those four lanes up so that when we depart out of here, the two lanes that move at one time will always be full and ready to go. All right? So if you are in lanes three or four when you round the corner, you're going to be going right out of the back of the school. If you're in lanes one and two coming around that corner, you're going to be making a left to come out of the front of the school. Okay, we'll have that coned off. I'll be out there as well, making sure everybody understands where to go. But we're going to be moving twice as fast. Normally we move one lane at a time. Now we're going to be moving, uh, moving two lanes at a time, which should help with getting all of you in much quicker so that we can get our instructional day started on time. Now we're going to do that for three or four days, get all the kinks out, make sure it's working well. And then the following Monday, February 8th, we're going to then take it to the afternoon and we'll have afternoon dismissal where we'll also be having two lanes at a time come out. So there'll be some tweaking of that and what that's going to look like. And we'll share that with you in the next Taylor Talk as well. So excited to share that with you. It's going to help you to be able to get in and out of this building quicker and it's going to help our kids to get into the building for educational purposes on time. All right? So stay tuned. Looking forward to Monday for that. Also, I wanted to give you a quick catch up that our Spirit Store is now open again. You'll see the link on the screen as I'm talking. It will be open until February 6th. So any items that you would like to buy, spirit wear items, house items, jackets, shirts, those kinds of things, you can go, I think hats as well, magnets, stickers, that kind of stuff. You can go online uh, and get that stuff all the way through February 6th before they close out the spirit store again. Also, just a big heads up, our AB honor roll will be February 10th at 8.30 in the morning, February 10th. That will be a virtual ceremony. So the kids will come across the stage. We'll celebrate them with their certificate. They'll actually get a little snack as well. And then they will head back to class after. Due to COVID, of course, we're trying to minimize uh, adults in the building. So we will do it as a virtual. So AB students, students who receive ABs on their grades, and also students who uh, pass proficiency on their uh, benchmark testing, those are the students that will celebrate on Thursday the 10th. And then we'll do it again on Friday the 11th for the Principal's Award, which is straight A students. Students with A's only, 8.30 in the morning on the 11th. Again, that'll be a virtual ceremony. They'll come across the stage. You'll get to celebrate with them with their certificate, their snack, and then we will send them back to class as well. So be sure to tune in. Those two days are great days, great days to celebrate for our students. All right, also coming right around the corner is what we call our second semester spirit week. Our SGA, our student government kids, put this together for us. And so we're going to be spending some time that week celebrating and letting kids get a little goofy. So I want to let you know, and you'll see it on the screen, what this looks like. But on Monday, February 7th, it's going to be sports day. That means kids can wear anything they want sports related to show off their favorite sport or a sport that they enjoy. Tuesday will be Nerd Day. You want to dress up as the biggest nerd as you possibly can. Wednesday, Wacky Tacky Day. You want to be as tacky as you possibly can be. Thursday is going to be Throwback Day. So 70s, 80s, or 90s. They can dress like any of those eras. 
And then Friday will be dressed to impress. Look at as sharp as you can, dress as nice as you can for that particular day. Of course, all of these days we have to be school appropriate, right? Make sure everything is how it should be to be safe in school and appropriate in school. But we're looking for the kids to have a great time at that. There is no cost whatsoever. This entire week is free, just fun. This is our spirit week and we want you to enjoy it with us February 7th through February 11th. All right, and then last but not least, our SGA will be selling Valentine's flowers for our students here on campus. So some of your students may have a sweetheart they want to give it to, like mom, maybe an aunt or an uncle or that kind of thing, grandparents, however you want to do it, moms and dads. So the kids can come. The carnations are $1, $1 piece, and um, they can purchase them during their lunchtime. SGA representatives will be there, and then they will be handed out on Valentine's. So if you want your child to be a part of that Valentine's Day experience and purchasing those carnations, they're a dollar a piece in order to participate. And of course, that will go to support the SGA program. I know that's a lot of information. Thanks for listening in. We look forward to you paying attention and being a part of that car rider line. We know it's going to be a little different. Uh, we're going to get it going and you're going to really enjoy that progress out there and how quickly we can get you in and out. It's a great day for learning here at Renaissance Charter at Crown Point. We are Point, we are proud, and we look forward to seeing you soon out back in that car rider line, making sure we're making it run as best we can. Thanks and have a great evening.